Islam Moors, blessed holy day. I give praise to Allah and honor to his holy prophet, noble Ju Ali. I give honor to the forerunner to the prophet, brother Marcus Garvey. I give honor to all the prophets of Allah, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, etc. I give honor to all of the leaders of the Moor Science Temple of America, brother C. Kirkman Bay, brother J. Blake, F. Nelson Bay, Brother J. Blakely Bay, past Supreme Grand Advisors and Moderators. I give honor to Brother R. Laville, past Grand Sheik and Moderator of the Moorish Science Temple of America. I give honor to Brother R. Jones Bay, Grand Sheik and Moderator of the Moorish Science Temple of America Incorporated. I give honor to everything that the Prophet brought for the uplifting of fallen humanity. I give honor to each and every one of you, I give honor to Friday, holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Peace. I now read from the Divine Constitution and Bylaws of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Salvation, our God, unity. Act 1. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Moore Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the Prophet and the Grand Body of the Moore Science Temple of America. The Assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and it is known before the members of the Moore Science Temple of America. Act 2. All meetings are to be opened and closed promptly according to the Circle 7 and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest because on a Friday the first man was formed in flesh and on a Friday the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his Father God Allah. For that cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act 3. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Moy Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister, because Allah is love. Act 4. 
four. All meeting, all members must preserve these holy and divine laws, and all members must obey the laws of the government, because by being a Moorish American, you are a part and partial of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act 5. This organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act 6. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed, that they may know that they are a part and partial of this said government, and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble to Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites, who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a partial of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. <coughs> wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Juali, through the guidance of his father, God, Allah. Moorish American prayer. Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation, by night and by day, through his holy prophet, True Ali. Amen. The Moore Science Temple of America, Home Office, 2905 Fifth Street Southeast, Washington, D.C. I will now read from The Great Meeting is On. Quran questions for Moorish Americans. In particular, I read the questionnaire and additional laws for the Moorish Americans by the Prophet Noble Ju Ali. Act 1. Grand Sheiks and Governors and Heads of All Temples, All Businesses, each said temple must be approved by the Prophet Noble Ju Ali before acting upon by any members, let it be finance, property, or any line of life that will cause the members to sacrifice, finance, etc., that will cause the support of any group of men members. Any former officer that violates these laws is subject to be removed from his office under heavy restriction, etc., by the prophet or the grand sheik. Act 2. All members are to attend their ADAP meetings and their public meetings promptly. If a member is found standing around on their meeting period, shall be fined 50 cents on the first case, and on the second, he will be fined one dollar, which will go on your emergency fund. If member is working, his monthly dues must be paid, and if he has money in the bank, he must subscribe for as much as he is able to the Moorish Uplifting Fund, because it takes finance to uplift a nation. Act 3. It is lawful and divine duty of every good member, if he is able in finance, to aid me in saving the nation. And if he does not, he is an enemy to the cause of uplifting his own people, and justice must catch you. Let it be he or she, according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, as I have the power invested in my hands, and I will have to enforce the law in order to save the nation. Act 4. 
All members, while making a public speech, must not use any assertion against the American flag or speak radical against the church or any member of any organized group because we are to teach love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Act 5. All members must promptly attend their meetings and send their children to Sunday school. And the teacher must confirm himself to the questionnaire and let every member exercise his five senses who is able to do so. Because out from your Sunday school comes the guiders of the nation. Act 6. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed, that they may know that they are a part and partial of this said government, and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865, during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites, who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7, all members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a partial of all uplifting acts of the Mori Science Temple. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Mori Science Temple. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Jew Ali, through the guidance of his Father God, Allah. I will now read from the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Know thyself and Allah. I read from chapter 5, After the Feast, The Homeward Journey, the missing Jesus, the search for him. His parents find him in the temple. <coughs> he goes with them to Nazareth. Symbolic meaning of carpenter's tools. I will begin with holy instruction number nine. And Jesus said, Do you not know that I must be about my father's work? But he went round and pressed the hand of every doctor of the law and said, I trust we meet again. And then he went forth with his parents on their way to Nazareth. And when they reached their home, he wrought with Joseph as a carpenter. One day as he was bringing forth the tools for work, he said, These tools remind me of the ones we handle in the workshop of the mind where things are made of thought and where we build up character. We use the square to measure all our lines, to straighten out the crooked places of the way and make the corners of our conduct square. We use the compass to draw the circles around our passions and desires to keep them in the bounds of righteousness. We use the ax to cut away the knotty, useless, and ungainly parts and make the character symmetrical. We use the hammer to drive home the truth and pound it in until it becomes a part of every part. We use the plane to smooth the rough, uneasy surface of joint 
and blocked and boards that go to build the temple of the, for the truth. The chisel, line, the plummet, and the saw all have their uses in the workshop of the mind. And then this ladder with this trinity of steps, faith, hope, and love. On it, we climb up to the dome of purity in life. And on the 12-step ladder, we ascend until we reach the pinnacle of that which life is spent to build, the temple of perfected man. Praise be to our <coughs> honor to his holy prophet, Noble Drew Ali, for bringing us these holy <coughs> and divine lessons. What great lessons to have during this time, this time that we have that we can study self, and use those tools to work on character. Praise be to Allah for this time. I now bring before you Brother R. Jones Bay, <coughs> Grand Sheik and Moderator of the Moore Science Temple of America. Peace. No eye, no stranger now. Oh, no eye, no stranger now. I have been introduced to the Father and the Son, and I am no stranger now. Oh, if I could, I surely would. Oh, if I could, I surely would. Oh, if I could, I surely would stand on that rock where the prophet stood. No, I ain't no stranger now. I ain't no stranger now. Oh, no, I ain't no stranger now. I have been introduced to the Father and the Son, and I ain't no stranger now. Oh, crying holy unto Allah. Holy unto Allah, oh, crying, holy unto Allah. Oh, if I could, I surely would stand on that rock where the prophet stood. No, I ain't no stranger now. I ain't no stranger now, oh no, I ain't no stranger now. I ain't no stranger now, oh sinner, run and hide your faith. Oh sinner, run and hide your faith. Oh sinner, run to the rock and hide your faith. Cause I ain't no stranger, ain't no stranger now. Islam Moors, may the peace and blessings of our Father, God Allah, be bestowed upon you this evening and many evenings to come, many days to come. I give praise to my Father, God Allah. I thank him again for this opportunity to be humbly submitting to his supreme discretion. On this Friday, the holy day for Muslims all over the world, the day on which we were formed in flesh. 
the day on which we were formed in flesh, the day on which we manifested on the plane of things made manifest. Our job was to prove, and still is, to prove the strength of Allah made manifest. We manifested on this day, and we ascended on this day, and we are keeping it alive because we are manifesting the great teachings of our prophet, Noble Juali, today in our discussion pertaining to the things that Allah sees fit for us to discuss. I give praise to my Father God Allah for realizing that he is the source from which all goodness comes. And this goodness that comes from our Father is a part of us. It is the power to do good that he has blessed us with. I give honor to the last prophet of these days, Noble Drali the founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, one prophet in this new era of time. And if in any discussions we, in any discussion that we have pertaining to the Morris Science Temple of America, the prophet must be present. Because you see, it is told to us that when two or more gathers in the prophet's name, he's here. We should always want our prophet, Noble Drali, to be here with us. We should always want our prophet, Noble Drali, to be here with us in the discussions that we have with one another. We always need his presence. For you see, he is our protector, our guide, and our salvation by way of Allah, the great God of the universe. It is through him that Allah speaks to man by the voice of man. I give praise to Allah and I thank him again for coming into the realization that we cannot make it without the proper acknowledgement that must be given to God. Of course, he is, it is he who is almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible. It, it is he who set a bounds to the ocean that it can't pass, who with his finger describes the courses of the stars. It is, it is he who shaketh the earth and the nations tremble, who bears the, his lightnings, who dareth his lightnings and the wicked are dismayed. It is he who calleth forth worlds by the words of his mouth. And with his arm, they sink into nothing. It is he who is the father of the universe. It is he who has taught us how to communicate with one another. And when we do it in an intelligent tone, it is he who used our voice to speak. And we speak to one another in a intelligent, godly way. By not, not with a lot of foul language. You know, one thing that we are learning in the Maury Science Temple of America, we are starting to disassociate ourselves with foul language. Because it has no substance. It's just a bunch of words put together that has no meaning. It does not express anything but ignorance. We are learning how to talk so that we can better express and communicate to our brothers and sisters what we, look, what we uh, are attempting to say without saying, uh, you know what I mean. There's no way in the world we can tell a person, you know, we're holding a conversation, and we, we're supposed to be holding a, telling the conversation, and we stop in the middle of the conversation and say, you know what I mean. Because in many cases, we don't always know what is meant. You see, I give praise to Allah again, and I give honor to all true and divine prophets of Allah. Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, etc. I give honor to all past supreme grand advisors and moderators of the Maury Science Temple of America. Brother C. Kirkland Bay, Brother F. Nelson Bay, Brother J. Blakely Bay. To our former Grand Sheik and moderator, Brother Alavio. All these brothers, they followed instructions. They followed the instructions of the Holy Prophet. They kept the temple doors open. And because of them following the instructions of our Holy and Divine Prophets, 
we have been able to come through those doors. And we are being allowed an opportunity to be taught by a holy and divine prophet. Because those individuals who held the, the positions of supreme grand advisors and moderators and grand sheep and moderator, they did not mix the teachings. So we are able to get these teachings. And learn how to incorporate these teachings into our lives. And as we start to live these teachings, we gain, we gain strength. And we start to understand the, how important it is to learn to rely on the divine word that comes from Almighty God Allah. Through, through those whom he appoints to be the heads of this holy and divine movement. But even in saying that, we're not going to get caught up. In, uh, in, in any kind of debate about who was this and who was that. What happened a hundred years ago, we don't know. All we know now that we're in the great program. And in this great program, we should be striving with one another to aid and assist in the uplifting of fallen humanity. Can we set aside the differences of, differences of opinion, what we think took place or what we uh, said took place or what we may have that somebody said took place? Listen, the prophet is the final word. We can get beyond, if we get, can get, get beyond man and go directly to the prophet, we know, we will know all we need to know. For this is one Mori Science Temple of America, one Allah, and one prophet. I give honor to all uh, national officials of the Mori Science Temple of America, all local officials of the Mori Science Temple of America. I give honor to all members of the Mori Science Temple of America, especially those members who the prophet re refers to as his good Moors, as real Moors, as those individuals who are putting forth their efforts to make sure that nothing diverts our attention from what the prophet says. Those individuals who are living the life as best they can to make sure that we understand what the prophet says. Not what man says. Man gives you his opinion, but general opinion is no proof of truth. So we must rely solely on what the prophet says and we must uh, uh, be ever grateful for all those individuals in the Maury Science Temple of America that's patterning themselves after the prophet. Let to keep the prophet out front. We must promote prophet noble Juali. We cannot allow ourselves to be, have our attentions, have our attention diverted Away from what the prophet, it's the prophet's movement. It's not Brother Kirkman Bay's movement. It's not Brother Blakey Bay's movement. not Brother Nelson Bay's movement. It's not Brother Loveville's movement. It's not my movement. It's the prophet's movement. And we are obligated to make sure that we go in the direction that the prophet has made, has made open to us. You see, he has opened up the way for us. And if we want success, we must follow the prophet. The prophet knows the way to salvation. We must, and he left his footprints clearly cut. And if we follow the footprints, then we will be, we will be uh, saved. But the prophet said he's going to lead some of us all the way up to salvation. And we're going to turn around and go the other way. And I pray that there is no illusion that can cause me to turn away from the prophet, from the prophet Noble Dwali, as he leads us back home to the mansions of eternal, where the mansions of eternal felicity exist, in the paradise of our Father, God Allah. I'd like to also give honor to wayfarers, seekers after truth, those who hear the sound, those who hear the sound, they may not join, but they hear the sound, and they are Morris sympathizers. Because when you get right down to it, we're all Moorish who are of the divine origin. We're all Moorish. If you read 
in the Holy Koran of the Mori Science Temple of America, chapter number 45. He talks about the uh, Asiatic nations. And the Asiatic nations, and then after he says Asiatic nations, he said the Moorish, who were the ancient Moabites, and the founders of the holy city of Mecca. And then he goes on to talk about the other Asiatic nations. But we're all Moorish. And that's a blessing. The Moorish nation that established kingdoms in Tripoli, and, and that established all these kingdoms and came together and was promoting one thought, the pursuit and the, and, and the service of the one God. But it was only when we started to yield to our uh, carnal promptings and urgings to be more than what we are. Everybody, we, look, if you go back and read the history, history of Spain, especially before we started losing our kingdoms, one of the primary uh, uh, promptings was that everybody wanted to be the boss. Everybody wanted to be the boss. We Look what we did for Spain when we worked in unity. But when everybody, when they started to, when we started to get to a point where we couldn't get along with one another and everybody wanted to do their own thing, breaking off, going in their own separate directions, then we started to fall. Because where there is disunity, there's failure. And we fail to honor the creed and principles of our ancient forefathers, and we started to war amongst ourselves. We even started to buy people. They were known as mercenaries to fight our own brothers and sisters. How can we, we got to such a low extent that we preferred a stranger before our own blood. Yes, we did rule Spain for over 700 years, but then we went on a rapid decline. We lost the, 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 we lost what made us great. The acknowledgement. That almighty God, Allah, dwells within us. There is no God but Allah. That's what we would say. There is no God but Allah. And at the time, Muhammad is his prophet. That's what we said in those days. And as long as we stepped, we held tightly to that, we were able to conquer and give civilization to the world. I have read some historical accounts about how Spain flourished under our rulership, how we tolerated all others' religious beliefs. We respected other people's religious beliefs. How can you not respect another person's religious belief if they're committed to the belief? And they show you that they are committed to what they had accepted as being their way back home. How can you not respect them? You've got to respect a man or, or a sister or a brother that's standing up and, 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 and representing what they say they're about. I, and, 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 and let me tell you something. That's how we're going to get back. Yes, we have our, we look, we are the Moors. We are members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. We are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the, north, the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. We are the ones who came out of the uh, Garden of Eden, into the land of Canaan, into Africa, which was known as the Mexum at that time. We're those same people. We're the people who, of course, it's, I, I said it earlier, founded the holy city of Mecca. We are the ones who established the first religious creed for the redemption and salvation of mankind on earth. Now, we did it together. There was no, uh, uh, how can you build a holy city if you arguing, fussing, and fighting with each other? Don't you know, when we reached that point where we argued, fussing, and fight, we had to leave the holy city. Because that could not be promoted in the holy city. Because the holy city, city was not uh, uh, founded with that mindset. So the Mori Science Temple of America, we welcome all those who think their condition can be better. We're not saying that everyone who comes to the Maury Science Temple of America has to join the Maury Science Temple of America. 
We're just simply here uh, to introduce to you, to let, to let it be made known to you, that one has come for our salvation. Our Redeemer has come. And that we have been given divine instructions from Almighty God to apply ourselves in a certain way so that we can let the actions of our life show our love to his law. And in doing this, our conditions have been made better. Yes, this holy divine movement. I was thinking, you know, we're going through this, uh, this transition period. I don't even like to talk about it no more because you hear so much that's coming from all different sources and nobody appears to know what they're talking about. And I'm not surprised at that because he has told us, I told you last week, he's going to stop her from thinking and going to start us to thinking for our own good. Now, when we start thinking for our own good, we will also share our good with others. You know, we're not going to keep our good to ourselves. We're going to share it with others. We're going to make it available to others. Because in this day and time, all the nations of the earth are seeking peace. But there is but one true and divine way that peace may be obtained. And it is true. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice being promoted. Being promoted. Being practiced being lived. We have to show them that it's something better than the illusion that they have accepted as being true. We have to let them know that there is but one God, almighty, eternal, incomprehensible, that's recognized and, and referred to by many names based on where the person is that identifies the part that is being made available for them to see. We're not here to criticize anybody. We're not here to stack our religion, again, we look, we don't compare religion. Religion is a way of life. We don't compare religion. See, we don't get into that. See, that has been used as a way to, to, to stop us from unifying. All those who are the uh, 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 acceptors that God exists and that God is in them, we accept everybody that accepts God. Because I have read somewhere where Prophet Nobudrali has, has made a statement, and this is not the direct quote, but it is to this. All those that, that show a willingness to submit to God, they are members of this flock. So, what's the beef? What's the hang-up? If there's any hang-up, if there's any beef, it's what, it's what we are creating ourselves. I've often said during these periods of time that we have been uh, meeting in, 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 in this type of uh, a setting that we got to come out here wiser than we were before we started this. And each and every one of you know if you want, you're getting through this. Remember, you are moving through this. Who you think is doing it? Almighty God is getting us, he's bringing us through this. He's chosen us to go through this together. To experience this together. And when we come out of it, we will begin to build together. But it must be done. And it must be done in a way that it is stressed to us in our, it is, it is mentioned to us in the uh, Holy Quran and the Moray Science Temple of America, social duties. It must be uh, re reciprocal helps and mutual obligation. Yes, we should come out strong in knowing that God exists. See, once we can get away from that, those, those diversions that take us away from our inner self, our self, our true self, once we can get away from the illusions and the carnality that exists all around us, once we can set that aside and knock away those uses and gangly parts, we will start to be able to see the oneness. Allah is one. All things are one. And in oneness, in unity, we will build a better world. Because our truth in building a better world will shine the light in the world of illusion. And in the light of art, all things are not. Allah is all. We are talking about taking and returning to the state 
of our ancient forefathers, the state that gave civilization to the world. As you see, the world needs to be civilized again. But it can only be done under the in divine instructions that come from God. That's the only way we can get this straight. That's the only way we can be straight is that we follow the will of God. The will of God is justice, mercy, love, and right. The will of God is treating your brothers and your sisters the way that you would have them treat you. And the will of God is to strengthen and build the relationship that binds us to love and unity. That's the will of God. Now, many of us have gotten off track. We have put, you know, the glory and the shame has been misplaced. We think that sometimes by tearing other people down, building, building ourselves up, projecting ourselves as being the all-knowing, uh, that that's going to uh, uh, make us feel a certain way. And we become haughty. And we become, uh, you know, we let that vanity start. Let me tell you, that doesn't mean a thing. It means nothing. Because the greatest leader is the greatest follower. We have to learn to follow his instructions. Does it really matter who leads if the, if the, if, if the leader is following a holy and divine prophet? If a leader loves Jesus, does it really matter who leads? I'll follow anybody that's following the prophet. I would love to follow a person fo that's following the prophet. I have no problem in a person who follows the prophet. But I have to see that you are living the life that I am aspiring to live. I'm trying to live a life based on my perception of the pattern that Prophet Noble Duali has designed for me to follow. I, that which I'm able to comprehend based on how I see Prophet Noble Duali, that's what I need to see if somebody's going to lead me. If I'm going to follow. Because I'm not here to, to, to uh, 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 be misled. Before I let somebody mislead me, I'll do it myself. I'll follow the Prophet. I'm not going to rely on anybody to follow the prophet. For me, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to find out how I can talk to the prophet. I'm going to find out how I can live the life that he said must be lived so that I can be reassured that he, our prophet, went that way. I'm going to examine with care, and I'm not going to fix suddenly because I have learned that on my present choice depends my future happiness. So I'm going to think before I act or speak. That's what I'm learning to do. I don't want to say this like I've had learned. All no, I'm learning to do this. And in the process of learning to do this, I am being uh, uh, made familiar. I'm, made, I'm being made familiar with the prophet's movement. And I'm moving according to the movement. See, this organization is not just an organization. It is a movement. And when we move in the movement, there is harmony. And in harmony, there is unity. And where there is unity, there is strength. And it's all being given to me by way of Prophet Noble Juali. I don't dispute. I don't uh, debate with whomever. There are others who say, "Well, I I come from this th this school of thought. I come from that." Well, look, I'm not here to debate what school of thought you come from because I have already been taught that man is sure to find himself where he can solve his problems best. So you may be over there, you may be over there, solving your problem. I don't have time to start to try to criticize, I don't have time to critique 
your participation in the areas that you find yourself. I have to critique myself on a daily basis. But it's one thing I do know, and I do know this to be true. I can recognize in some instances, maybe not all instances, but in some instances, I can recognize if we're going in the same direction or not. I can recognize it. Because in going in a certain direction, there are certain things you don't do. But I know that man is true from false who is strangely mixed. I know that man has weaknesses, so I can't hold that against him. But I'm saying that if a man is striving, he may have those weak moments. But he's striving. That means you can tell a person he's trying. He's trying. That brother, that brother's trying. That sister's trying. You see? And that's who I try to surround myself with. That's who I try to be in the midst of. Those who are striving, are trying to get this thing going. I'm not here to judge about how successful they are in their attempts from time to time. But if I can see that they're trying, that's, that gives strength and inspiration. Oh, yes. This holy divine movement awaits strong men and women to take your place in the affairs of men, providing that you have race pride and love your race. See, that's a very important element that sometimes we may not always uh, uh, want to uh, 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 focus on. If you have race pride and love your race, join the Maury Science Temple of America. Then you will have power to redeem your race. Because you will know who, who you are and who your forefathers were. Then accept, together we stay and divided we fall. Let's get out here, Moors. All those who are striving for purity in life. Let's get out here together. Those who are striving. Now listen to what I'm saying. Those who are striving. No, not I ain't talking about those Moors who uh, right now don't hear the sound. The sound that they hear is the sound they're making. That lower self is making in the semblance of truth. But I'm saying those who hear the sound and we recognize those who hear the sound. By their words, their acts, and their deeds. And guess what? Not sometimes, but the consistency is reflected in their pattern of behavior. There is a level of consistency when you get on the path. Because, see, when one is on the path, and he's aware that he's on the path, he does not want to detour because he has noticed that on the path it's not as uh, uncertain because, see, on the path, things are not born of uncertainty. They're not, the uncertainty does not be a major factor when you're on the path. I'm saying there's challenges that you meet on the path. Of course. A soldier never knows the strength until he meets his foe. He has to have a challenge on the path. But it's the constancy. The constancy of your behavior. The constancy of your thinking. It is that constancy that keeps you from returning back to the state where the prophet found you. Oh, yes, my brothers and sisters. This has been, this is a very rewarding time that we're in. We must be stronger. We must take advantage of the opportunity that we have been given. I pray, I pray that you have been looking at yourself. 
I pray that you are now beginning to recognize the importance of acknowledging the moment that you presently are in. I'm praying that you're not extending yourself into the future about how you will behave when greater. I pray that you're not going backwards into your past, talking about uh, 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 finding those things in your past that makes you t uh, have it. No, those things in your past that what you certain um, thoughts that cause the conditions that were not always as beneficial as they could have been. Hopefully the past you visit not too often. You know, you, if there are times when you may have to go to the past and get something out of the past, but it's not the past that's going to keep you lingering. You see, you only linger there if you go there and stay too long. It's something out back there I got to go back there and get. What did you leave back there? I left a suitcase. What was in the suitcase? I left a virtue in the suitcase that I'm able to understand much better today than I was yesterday. I'm going to go back and get that virtue, and I'm going to, because that virtue is going to help me to continue to be marching forward towards a nobler life once I examine it in my present state. I'm going to examine that virtue in my present state. Because there was something good back there that I did. I remember it was something, I, but I, it got caught up in all that mess. I'm going to go back there and retrieve it. I pray I can retrieve it. I pray I can recognize it. And I pray that I can bring it into my present. And now I can start to incorporate it. I learned from that. Now I can incorporate this into my present state, which will help me to gain the strength to continue to march forward. I don't want to get caught up in the future. I don't want to get caught up in the past. I want to acknowledge my present. I want to be in the moment, to recognize the moment. It's just like we're in the moment at this moment. And guess what? No one has a problem. Have you noticed in the moment that we're presently in, what we're discussing right there, we have no problems? We have no problems in the moment that we're in. We're not even, we, we, we should be uh, recognizing the advantage of being able to be in the moment. So, as we learn these things during this period of adjustment, during this period of uh, challenges, during this period of learning to love, oh, that's a good one. Are we really learning? <laughs> That's another thing. All these things come up. Look, are we learning to love? Are we learning to love? You know, before this incident came uh, came about, and I was uh, I was traveling in the land, and I was examining the condition. Uh, there were some who were not representing us very well. And, you know, everyone has, they have to work out their own life sums. But what, what I was able to learn was that the pers those who are attempting to, who are working out their life sums and not using principles, they're very loud. They're very loud. And, 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 they, and, and they get so loud, and they start to say, I'm Moorish, you know, I'm, I'm a Moorish American. But they're so loud when they lose, look, when they uh, surrender to the outside impulse that it makes you wonder, wait a minute, wh what does that mean, uh, being a Moorish American? Y you're acting like that? Say that they lose themselves, and then they come back after they have lost them, lost them, lo, uh, they have lost themselves in a, a challenge or an encounter, and they have mis misrepresented the organization. But they have let everybody know that they are part of the organization. They come back and they act like, well, I, you know, man, it's true, false, or strange, and mixed up. Right? You know, can't be all this, can't be all that all the time, and then act like it's, it means nothing. But don't you understand that what you do, you reflect? Us, 
who are trying to keep the flag flying. See, when you lower the flag by leaving your principles, you lower the flag. It got to be those who keep the flag flying. Because they understand. Somebody got to let that flag be held up. Because right now, you are lowering that flag. That flag is hard to be even acknowledged. They, they ain't gonna, in that state that you got the flag, they're not going to acknowledge that flag. And they sure are not going to acknowledge you. But if there are those who have to keep the flag. We are, look, there are those who have to keep the flag flying and who feel obligated to keep the flag flying and who refuse to let that flag be lowered, meaning to go beneath the principles that are represented in the five-pointed green star in the center of our flag. We keep, we do the best we can to maintain our principles so that we can keep that flag flying so that when you lower that flag by your words, your acts, your deeds because you're not committed to the a great program of uplifting fallen humanity, there are those who let it be known, look, don't lose heart, the flag is still flying. There's still a segment of the population of the Maury Science Temple of America who represents Prophet Noble Duality and his teachings and refuse to uh, contribute to the misunderstanding of what the movement is dedicated to. Most keep the flag flying. Let the principles be seen. So kindly hath he united thy duty to thy nature that obedience to his precepts is happiness to yourself. Stay on the path. Learn to love instead of hate. May the peace and blessings of our Father God, Allah, the great God of the universe, be forever bestowed upon you. May he smile on you and may you see the advantage of keeping your hand in Allah's hand. Because you see, then all will be well. Peace. I'm now going to read from the Maury Science Temple of America, the, the Holy Koran of the Maury Science Temple of America. Divinely prepared by the noble prophet Juali, by the guiding of his father God, Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen state of humanity, back to the highest plane of life with his father, God, Allah. And in, I'm reading from uh, chapter number... 47, Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. Yeah. According to all true and divine records of the human race, look, according to all true and divine records of the human race, there is no Negro, black, or colored race attached to the human family. Because all the inhabitants of Africa were in all the human, human race. Descendants of the ancient Canaanite nation from the holy land of Canaan. What your ancient forefathers were, you are today without doubt or contradiction. There is no one who is able to change man from the descendant nature of his forefathers. Unless his power extends beyond the great universal creator, Allah himself. These holy and divine laws are from the prophet, the noble Juali, the founder of the uniting of the Morris Science Temple of America. These laws are to be strictly preserved by the members of all the temples of the Morris Science Temple of America. Hear that. Hear that. And then examine your temple to make sure your temple is in accord with divine instructions. And if it's not, get it right. Don't let it continue to go in a direction that isn't, that's contrary to what the law says. You are, you are to strictly preserve. You, you got to hold tight to these laws that the prophet of Noble Joy has brought to us. And each temple should reflect the same thing by following the instructions. You can't hide. And let me tell you something. If the temple is not right, if the, if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. And you, who are the head of the temple, you are responsible. 
I know if it was me, I wouldn't have had dared to want to stand before Almighty God Allah and have and my mouth shut, and now you got to start reading. You didn't run your temple right, and you had you had the instruction. You were given divine instructions to make sure that your temple is run, was running right, was, run, was in accord with holy and divine law. Now, by you not doing that, those who have come from your temple have followed your lead. Because you are supposed to be the father of the temple. Now, they followed your lead. So everything that they know, much of what they're doing, based on your miseducation of them, you got to get a piece of that. Because you had an opportunity to lead them right and you didn't. How, was your, how is your attitude before your members? Don't you know before your members you're not to use any profane language? Don't you know before your members you are to show to the, to the public and, and to your members the teachings of the prophet? You must do that. That's your responsibility. You're responsible for people who think their condition can be better. You're supposed to be showing them a better way of life by your life being better. Now I pray that that's what's being done. Because if not, Shame and disappointment will be the reward of your labor. Again, what your ancient forefathers were, you are today without doubt a contradiction. Again, there is no one who is able to change man from the descendant nature of his forefathers. Unless his power extends beyond the great universal creator Allah himself. Again, these holy and divine laws are from the prophet, noble Juali, the founder of the uplifting of the Maury Science Temple of America. Uh, pardon me. The founder of the uniting of the Maury Science Temple of America. These laws are to be strictly preserved by the members of all the temples of the Maury Science Temple of America that they will learn to open their meeting and guide it according to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Praise Allah. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not, Islam is my religion. I shall not be moved, Islam is my religion. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be Wally is my prophet. I shall not be moved. True Ali is my prophet. And I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. continue to trust in Allah. And I shall not be moved. I'll continue to trust in Allah. And I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. And now I'd like to read Friday, January 15th, 1929. Prophet warns all Muslims. Governors order to read proclamations at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical, agitating speeches while at work, in their homes, or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be a severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, and freedom. And when these principles are violated, Justice then must take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple of the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Morris movement 
will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn their card button, cease wearing their turban affairs, and return to the state where the prophet found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah. <coughs> Excuse me. Founded by the prophet, noble Duali. And if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sins by all of prophet Noble Duali. Peace. Uh, Islam Moors, before we say the prayer, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Grand National Financial Secretary, Sister, P. Potter, Sister T. Potter Bay for her rendition of uh, Still Away that was played uh, as we came on. I pray and I thank Allah for inspiring her to offer that song for us this evening. Peace. Allah, the Father of the Universe. Allah, the Father of the Universe. The Father of Love. The Father of Love. Truth. Truth. Peace. Peace. Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My guide. And my salvation. And my salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. Through His holy prophet. Through His holy prophet. Through Ali. Through Ali. Amen. Amen.